Hey guys, my name is Iman and this is the first tutorial on Latin hypercube sampling. What is sampling and why does that matter? Sampling is the process by which values are randomly drawn from probability distributions. So if you don't understand this sentence, don't worry, I'm going to make it clear soon. There are two common approaches for sampling. The first one is Monte Carlo and the second one is Latin hypercube sampling. I'm going to cover both methods in my presentation. Choosing a sampling method affects both the quality of the results and also the simulation time. So, in general, there is a trade-off between quality and timing. Uh, before I get into details, I just want to uh, explain the terminology that I'm going to use for the rest of this presentation. Whenever I say iteration, I mean one simulation with n random samples. So n can be 100, 1000, 10,000. So whenever I say iteration, I mean just one simulation with n random samples drawn from the probability distribution. So what I'm going to cover in this presentation. First, I'm going to explain how Monte Carlo is implemented in computers. And then I'm going to talk about the problem with Monte Carlo and after that, I will explain how can Latin hypercube sampling deal with that problem. And at the end, I will talk about the correlation in uh, a Latin, Latin hypercube sampling. Uh, before I get into detail, I need to explain one key concept, which is called cumulative probability distribution. Basically, if you have a probability distribution function, for example, let's say you have a normal uh, probability distribution function, you can represent this probability distribution function in this form, which is called cumulative probability distribution. So, how can you interpret data in this graph? Just let me show you one example. At 0, when x is 0, y is 0.5, or this is probability, so let's say 50%. So, x is 0, y is 50%. Why does, wh what does that mean? It means 50% of the data or 50% of the numbers is below 0 and 50% is above 0. Another example, x is minus 0 0.7 and y is 0.24 or let's say 25 or 25%. What does that mean? It means 25% of the numbers is below uh, minus 0 0.7 and 75% is above. So that's the meaning of cumulative probability distribution. In the next uh, tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, how Monte Carlo is implemented in, uh, is implemented in computers. Thanks for watching this tutorial.